Today I want to talk to you about what I think is going to be the most powerful troubleshooting device for the industrial automation space. This tool you're carrying with you all the time and that is How's it going? I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. Today I want to talk to you about what I think is going to be the most powerful troubleshooting device for the industrial automation space. And I think it's approaching very quickly and it's also already a very powerful tool. This tool you're carrying with you all the time and that is your cellular device. Uh, your cell phone is going to end up being one of the most powerful troubleshooting tools that you have. Obviously, you're still going to need other tools like voltmeters and whatnot, but this, this is going to be a super powerful tool. And the reason why I say your cell phone is going to be such a super powerful tool is because everything is getting to a point where it has a web interface and it has the ability to uh, access its settings and program it through your phone. With Industry 4.0 becoming more and more of a thing and more devices having that web interface, now you're able to access the web interfaces of those different pieces of machinery within your system and that may give you access to something like a FANUC robot where you can log into the FANUC robot's web interface and see its inputs and outputs or maybe you're doing some troubleshooting on the tool and it's much easier for you to set your phone up on the tooling while you have your meter in your hand and you're testing leads or if you take a piece of wire and you're jumping a 24 volt to an input you can see that firing on your on your phone versus trying to like put a teach pendant up there or like have a secondary person hold that teach pendant for you or you're running into things where uh, maybe you have to do programming further away and the, maybe the teach pendant don't reach because your main enclosure is, is too far away and now this gives you the ability to log in with your phone and now you're able to either examine different things on your phone or fire them with your phone and it's easier than trying to run around with a laptop or a bigger tablet and on top of that everybody's carrying around one of these. Uh, also if you're trying to connect to a web interface check under the description below I have a video of connecting your cellular, de cellular device to a web interface. Essentially your phone will try to use its data connection to maintain internet. So check out that video and we'll go through the processes of how to get your phone set up to be able to access uh, different Wi-Fi enabled devices. So being that the industry 4.0 is only becoming a bigger thing and data tracking is, is becoming even bigger and, and devices that are Ethernet based are starting to become cheaper and cheaper. So let's go with an example that you have an ethernet based laser scanner and you keep having issues with it tripping. Well, now you're able to just log in through the wireless access point, log into the web interface of that laser scanner and essentially you can start programming that, that laser scanner right from your phone. You don't even have to pull out a laptop and get a programming cable and plug into the thing. This is where a lot of manufacturers are going to see a huge advantage in, in using Ethernet based devices and being able to you know track more data and be able to log in through your through your cellular device and tablets and, and computers much easier than trying to find this one particular programming cable that this device uses to be able to program it. Things become much more accessible. So now a device like that, you're able to access it from an office somewhere. Uh, and given you'll have to have more security measures in place to ensure that just anybody can't log into stuff like that and edit it. And overall, just the ease of being able to log in with your phone, which you're always carrying with you, is super, super powerful. Like. You're just going to save so much more time just being able to pull out your phone, log into the access point of that particular system, and now log into the web interface of the device. And now you can start troubleshooting immediately. I mean, not even five minutes in, and you can literally be seeing uh, what's causing my laser scanner to keep tripping. And maybe it's something that you need to change physically in space, or maybe you're just noticing, oh, the, the laser scanner is picking up a phantom uh, object and you can make an edit to your laser scanner boom you got your cell up and running again that quickly and then whenever it comes to other technologies that are coming out for example so you could have an autonomous mobile robot like a mirror and be able to log into its web interface and be able to see where it's at in the logic and and see why it's not moving and also maybe rewrite some code or overall just look at it directly from your phone and you could have multiple people logged into it with their cellular devices all standing around looking at their phone and and troubleshooting together instead of having trying to have three guys huddling around one screen to see what's going on. Let me know what you think about a cellular device being a super powerful troubleshooting tool. If you see that it's going to be that big of a, a troubleshooting tool, especially five, ten years into the future, whenever we're going through these industry 4.0s 
and and obviously like 20 years in the future it's gonna be crazy like you know you may not even need a meter at that point in time you may have devices that can automatically do voltmeter tests on themselves your web interfacing into the into the device through your phone and you're able to see the voltages of everything on the, on the cell everything's just doing its own self-diagnostic tests like if you used uh, io link they have a lot of self-diagnostics built into their sensors and whatnot. So I think things are gonna get like super crazy, super advanced. Like I, I think we're just barely grazing the surface of it. The different devices and softwares becoming more automatedly set up. So that way there's no, you don't have to have a controls engineer set up all these different metrics to observe all these different things. But after you start getting past some of those, things are, are really, really going to explode in advancements. And, and that's when a device like your cell phone really picks up and really starts to become an ultra powerful tool whenever we start using more Ethernet devices. Uh, but I'm curious to hear what you think about your cellular device being a super powerful troubleshooting tool. How, how far into the future do you think that it's gonna be before it is really powerful? Like you almost can't even, you almost can't even troubleshoot without having a device like a cell phone. And if you'd like for us to, you know, add an access point to your system and get your devices talking or maybe upgrade some of your devices to be ethernet accessible so that way you're able to use your phone to, to access them and, and program them and whatnot, uh, feel free to reach out. That's something that we do. We specialize in robotic cells and anything to do with vision, line tracking, all the safety that goes around a robotic cell. That's what we specialize in. So feel free to reach out if there's an application that you'd like for us to look at. Also, if you don't even know where to start off with as far as an application goes and you know that you want to automate but you're not sure what to automate yet, feel free to reach out as well. We also offer consulting where we essentially act as an extension of your engineering team. We come in and we look at your overall operation, different processes that are going on within your facility, and from there, make a decision on what we think is the best thing to automate within your facility. Hopefully this video was useful for you guys. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more automation-related videos. We have a ton of different stuff coming out, and catch you in the next one.